Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This video is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to show you how to hook up uh, a VS1838B infrared receiver. And secondly, it's going to show off uh, our first kick Kickstarter stretch goal for the Kickstarter link below. Our Kickstarter link below uh, is for an infrared learning board set. That's a whole other story. Uh, the Kickstarter has done very well so far. If you're interested in having a gander, please ch click on the link below. Uh, in any case, the stretch goal that I'm going to be placing on uh, on the site this evening is for 10 female to male wire connectors. The Most of the reward tiers already come with female to female wire connectors, but uh, I'm going to be adding in a stretch goal that will include female to male wire connectors for easier connections to your external, external circuitry. The stretch goal is also going to include a VS1838B infrared receiver, a 20K ohm resistor, a 100 ohm resistor, a 100 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor, and a, a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. And you really only need those five components to receive uh, 38 kilohertz burst, burst signals from uh, an infrared remote control. My Kickstarter is for something that learns those signals, but you can receive them and analyze them with just those five components. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the uh, schematic. We'll talk about it briefly. And uh, But right now, I'm going to hook this up onto a breadboard just to show you uh, what extra, how the extra hardware would work if you pledge toward uh, most tiers of the Kickstarter. So let's hook it up onto a breadboard. What I've done is connect the uh, VS1838B receiver to the breadboard. The leftmost pin is our output, the middle pin is our ground pin, and our right pin is our VCC pin. We're going to connect 5 volts to our VCC pin on the right, ground to our middle pin, and uh, our output again will be our left pin. But first we have to add in some, uh, well I call it safety circuitry. Now these components uh, are the components uh, suggested in the datasheet. We are going to be following the datasheet schematic, which again we will get to in a second. So the next thing we need to do is we need to connect um, uh, a 100 ohm resistor between our power supply, which is 5 volts, to the VCC pin, which is the rightmost pin. So I'm going to do that right now. So here's my 5 volt power supply wire, red, my black wire, which is ground. Uh, I've got the 100 ohm resistor tied from the 5 volt line to our VCC line, which is pin 3, the rightmost pin. So that has uh, power connected. We don't have our ground connected yet. But the next thing we need to do is we need to take a 20 ohm resistor and uh, place it between, or sorry, 20 k ohm resistor and place it between our 5 volt line and our output pin, which is uh, the leftmost pin, pin, pin one. So let's connect that. Again, we're going to connect the leftmost pin to the power supply line. Now I'm going to take another wire, splice to the ground line, and connect it to pin two, which is our ground line. Now. If uh, if we if we applied five volts to the power line and our supply and supply ground to the ground line right here, then we could use our circuit. It would work pretty well, but it wouldn't be protected from false triggering. Uh, the VS1838B can have false triggers uh, caused by ambient light if you don't have it protected with capacitors. So what we need to do is we need to take a uh, we need to take a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor and place it between the VCC and ground pins. So I'm going to take this ceramic capacitor and place it between pins 2 and pins 3, which is our ground pin and our VCC pin. Don't worry, I will be, again, I will be showing the uh, schematic in just a second. So lastly, let's talk about our electrolytic capacitor. You'll notice that the electrolytic capacitor has a long lead and a short lead. You want to place your lo uh, long lead, which is our positive, to the rightmost pin, which is VCC, and the short, uh, the short pin, which is our negative, to the ground line, which is pin 2, the middle pin. So I'm going to connect long lead to the rightmost pin, uh, short lead to the middle pin. Now that everything's connected, let's connect 5 volts to the power supply wire, our supply ground, to our ground wire, and we'll look at the signal on our output, which is pin 1, under an oscilloscope. I realize that my camera isn't picking up my oscilloscope signal very well, hopefully you'll bear with me. What I'm seeing right now is a normally high 5 volt output signal, and if I use an infrared remote control and I press any button, it will show for me the codes. I'm press pressing random buttons right now. And because uh, I've placed those capacitors in there, I, I won't see any uh, false triggerings. So I'm just pressing random buttons, 
So now you have access to the infrared codes being sent through the air, which you can do many things with. Uh, usually These a lot of it requires a fair bit of programming, uh, but you can do uh, a lot of fun stuff. There are a lot of Arduino projects out there, and the, uh, uh, as I mentioned, please, if, you, the, uh, if you're interested receiver, in pledging, the Kickstarter is linked below. So let's talk about the schematic out. quickly. The middle pin is labeled GND for ground, and the rightmost pin is labeled VCC, which is, of course, our power supply pin. On the schematic below, you'll see the VS1838B receiver. Uh, it's a little box with three pins. And then, of course, you've got on the right your power supply and your CPU. CPU is a microcontroller, or let's just say external circuit. So on the upper right, we've got a 5-volt signal that's connected to the VCC th pin through a 100-ohm resistor. We've got um, a 20K ohm resistor tied between the 5-volt the line and the output pin, so between pins... Uh, one and three and we've got a ceramic capacitor which does not have a polarity connected between uh, VCC and ground so pins two and pins three and we've got a 100 microfarad capacitor uh, electrolytic capacitor with the positive connected to pin three which is the VCC line and the negative pin connected to the ground line which is pin two so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you found it helpful if you haven't checked out our Kickstarter please check it out below thanks again